Video hii ya leo asubuhi nje ya mahakama ya milimani imesambazwa mno katika mitandao ya kijamii. Maafisa wa polisi waliwakabili na kuwafukuza wanahabari. Waliokuwa kifuatilia uamuzi wa kuachiliwa kadha maana kwa mbunge wa Mbakasi Mashariki Babu Owino. Mawakili wa Babu Owino sasa wanamtaka jaji mkuu Martha Koome aingilie kati na kukomesha ongezeko la maafisa wa polisi mahakamani. The chief justice must make sure that this place is completely out of bound for the untried police. Katika taarifa yake idara mahakama imeshtumu tukio hilo na kueleza kujitolea kwake katika kudumisha uhuru wa vyombo vya habari, haki za wanahabari na udumishaji wa sheria. Visa vya maafisa wa polisi kujidai wanahabari pia vimeshuhudiwa hasa wakati wa maandamano nchini. It has been reported that some of the officers masquerade as journalists and we saw this for ourselves in order to arrest and execute protesters. Ingawa uhuru wa vyombo vya habari unatambuliwa katika katiba ya nchi, vitisho dhidi ya vyombo vya habari vimechukua mkondo mpya kwani vinatetewa mchana peupe na serikali. Ukatili wa polisi pia umeshuhudiwa dhidi ya waandamanaji. Tume ya kutetea haki za kibinadamu nchini imeripoti visa 68 wakati wa maandamano dhidi ya serikali. 28 kati yao walipoteza maisha baada ya kuteswa. While President Ruto has promised to end the era of police killer squads, the recent unfolding events reveal that the security agencies have clear intentions to execute protesters. Mashirika ya kijamii pia wamelalamikia ongezeko la maafisa usalama wasiovaa sare zao ambao wakati mwingi hutumia magari yenye nambari feki za usajili au hata yasiyokuwa na nambari za usajili wakiwakamata waandamanaji na kuwapeleka kusikojulikana. Sasa wanataka uchunguzi wa kina wa matukio yote yanayohusishwa na ukatili wa polisi. The five deaths in Mulolongo are clear examples of state ordered executions. Out of these three had gunshots to the head.